Sholo married Doyeno. Welcome back. Glass shelf collectibles. Funko Pop vinyl. GSC. Um, boxing. GSC itself, yes. Funko Pop, Funkos galore. This time from Glass Shelf Collectibles. But, although I'm very, very happy. Jimmy don't like Glass Shelf Collectibles anymore, does Well, he? neither do I, to be honest. Oh. Um, it's got to be said. Um, a friend of the channel and mine and ours, Jimmy Barnes, you may have heard of him, in the Funko community. He's not a fan of Glass Shelf Collectibles for the same reasons that I also am not. I pre-ordered... Oh, this is really irritating, I remember. I pre-ordered... It's to... one that I actually... Sorry to keep yeah, interrupting. Yeah, I'm going to have to turn around as but well. But I nearly yeah. ordered this and he said, oh no, don't, oh, don't do this. Because I... I've pre-ordered it. I pre-ordered this... Dastardly... And... Soda... And Muttley. I ordered it, and I can't remember the exact date. But Where it, is he? It was in. It was sometime in 2020. It was at least two years ago. I'll put the date on screen. Muttley has still not turned up, and I've been emailed them, them a number of times. Actually, I didn't like. I wasn't hassling them. This one come, and I was like, "Oh, you haven't sent Muttley," and they're like, "Oh yeah, yeah, it, it, you know, we're led by Funko, blah blah blah." The fact of the matter is, I ordered Muttley two years ago, and it, and I've chased them probably only about three times over that two-year period, and said, Look, where is it? And at one point, they offered me a refund. I'm like, no, no, I really want the soda, because i got dastardly, I want Muttley. In the end, a couple of years passed, and I said, you know what, forget it. I might as well have my money back. Um, it's never going to arrive. Anyway, they said, how about you have... Um, something else or a refund and you know what because there was something else, i would have had the refund but because there was something else on their site that i particularly wanted i said look just send me this one and, and forget about the two pounds extra so easy, um you? that they would have owed me but they've given me a two pound gift voucher as well so they have given me my money, money back. yeah i mean it's a bit shit in it really all things considered two pounds. they've had my money for two years yeah how much interest they made on money exactly they've probably made about 20p <laughs> <laughs> but there you go um the moral of the story there is, and I think and I'm agreeing with Jimmy on this one, is pre-ordering is completely pointless. Unless, I think, if unless you're pre... And even these don't always work. Funko Europe, I've pre-ordered from them before and not had stuff. So I think unless you're getting it from Source, I wouldn't bother with any of the uh, smaller independents for pre-ordering. I don't think. I've had too many... Um, negative experiences now to even bother that hit me everything's okay it doesn't matter um well why i've bought though is actually quite exciting because i'm going to liverpool comic con on friday have i mentioned it um me and a couple of others from youtube there are a couple of people that I've already pre-booked to see, as you would have seen on the last video. Catherine Winnick, who plays Lagatha in The Vikings, already booked to meet her. I've also booked to meet uh, Giancarlo Esposito, who plays Gus Fring and Moff Gideon in Star Wars. He's also in The Boys. He plays Stan Edgar. Fantastic. I cannot wait to meet both of those two. I only booked two because of queues and timings. Unless you've got like the, the diamond pass, or whatever they're calling it, you're not guaranteed the queue jump. So I didn't want to spend all day queuing, potentially for autographs that I'd pre-booked and then not actually getting them. That would be silly. So, but this one is one I haven't pre-booked, but I'm hoping to get signed. Oh no, I didn't know that. Did you not know that? No. This, this chap is no, at I the didn't. con. Yes, I know he's at the con, but I didn't know you hadn't pre-booked him. Right, I no, I haven't pre-booked him, no, because otherwise I'd be... How, how do I know that I'm going to be able to get around all of these? Yes, you won't be able to see him then, But this you? is going to be a case of booking on the day, <laughs> hopefully. I, I'm going to take it with me. If I get to see him, I get to see him. If I don't, then you'll I'm be, no... You'll be sitting in the corner crying, uh, no, won't there'll be, you? There'll be no harm done. There'll be no harm done. You'll be crying, Lou. No harm done. I'm going to warn Jason, Lee and I might be very Elle. upset, actually. He will be very, very upset. I might be a little. I might, this is true. But we're going to take our chances. A couple of others are taking their chances You're going to be well. very brave. Well, not just me. We're all being brave. Are you? Yeah. Okay. Right. You will be brave soldiers <coughs> together. I'll show you who this is then. Um, and like I said, it's the only reason I grabbed it. They do a glow version, which actually was the version I wanted. 
a bit more expensive, but because I was getting this essentially free, but not free because I've had my money for two years, but you know what I mean. I thought, sod it, let's get it. Um, I don't really fancy reviewing glass shelf collectibles, to be honest, but um, I'll show you the packaging. There it is, it's cardboard paper, whatever you call it. Um, not impressed, although it has come in a pot protector. And it is a very good pop, oh, actually. Nice, yeah. Very, very good pop. DC Superheroes, number 410. Blue Beetle. In that sort of Day of the Dead Mexican style um, characterization. Now, no, the guy that plays it is the same guy that plays uh, Miguel Diaz in um, Cobra Kai. So he's the actor that's going to be playing Blue Beetle. They don't have... Cobra Kai uh, Funkos were not of the minor characters. What do I say minor characters? He's a huge character. He's a huge character. character. I meant other than Johnny and yeah. um, Daniel. Daniel Sun. Um, they don't have he's everyone else. And this guy, ridiculous. Miguel, yeah, he, he's, I don't know why I just said that, but he's, he's one of the main characters. Um, and he's been, well, he's playing the, the lead role in the new Blue Beetle movie. And so I got a Blue Beetle Funko to get signed by him. The actor himself uh, is called, um, it's a really weird name. It's, it's spelled X-O-L-O. -O. The actor's name is pronounced, and I'm hopefully <coughs> going to get this right, Sholo Maria Doyano. Something like that. That was sort of yeah. Italian slash Spanish and Mexican. Um, Sholo Maria Doyano. <laughs> and um, I, want, I didn't want to, <laughs> you have a go. Sholo Malid, I thought it was Malidin. No, no, CC. <laughs> Married. No, no, CC. I, I don't know. No, no, no. yes, yes. Oh, no, I don't know no in Spanish. <laughs> I was like, no. No. <laughs> no, CC. No, no. No, yes, yes. <laughs> no, CC. Um, Married, do we end? No. Malidin. No, no, CC. Malidin. Sholo. Sholo. Married, do we end? No. It's not, it's Malidin. It's no L in there. Anyway, I, I couldn't not know his name and go and get this sure song, could not. I? You know, I'm going to go. I walk up to him and say, "Hello, Exolo." <laughs> yeah. I want to yeah. go up there and say, "Hello, hola, <laughs> hola, hola, <laughs> hola." Sholo Mario Duenno, come at us, das hombre. <laughs> He's going to be so impressed. He and then you're going to have to put one of those hats on. <laughs> Diva, Diva, Diva. <laughs> He's literally going to write loads of stuff in Spanish on the front of this. Um, How... That's fantastic, isn't it? I was it? actually, sorry, I was half laughing at that, but I was half laughing when we were in the car park and you were practising that. <laughs> <laughs> we often do things in the car park. <laughs> but, yes, today... <laughs> We were we went for Subway oh. and I was practicing how to say his name, but then it turned into German, and I'm in the and you got out the car <coughs> and I got out the car because I was trying rubbish. to get the, the rubbish out, yeah. And I'm leaning in the car, so it's got my arse sticking out the back in the car park. Um, <laughs> I'm used to it, okay. <laughs> and I'm like getting all this rubbish, and I'm going, the Germans are coming, the Germans are coming. And then as I turned up, this old fella was behind me with his dog, and he was like, hello. Oh. Hello. I was like, all right, mate. <laughs> and he clearly heard me say... And I don't think he realised that I was in the car, so it just looked as if he was... On his own, anyway. He was on his own, pimping the car, saying, the Germans are coming. I can't do it, I'll sound... The German. No, I'll forget the Germans, because Sholo <laughs> Maridueno is going to be so pleased when he signs this. I don't know if I'm going to get it signed, but check that out. It is cool. It's got transparent wings. Look at that. Um, that is very nice. I'd like, yeah, I do want to see that movie. I do want to see the, the, the movie as well. I think that's brilliant. I think that's a really, really cool mm. Funko Pop figure. Actually, all the ones in Love the range. Love that. Yeah, all the ones really, in the range really nice. like that. That Green Lantern looks nice. Fantastic. Yeah, all of them look quite nice. Let me, let me show you. That's a brilliant stance as well. Yeah, really, really happy it. with that. It's got the beetle emblem look on the on the forehead. You can see there. Um, sort of pink hands. This blue. It just it actually feels like a real quality Funko Pop figure. Mm. I gotta say. And like I said, that Day of the Dead. Yeah, I like that Mexican sort of style of uh, 
artwork. And that's, that's, that's brilliant. Very nice. Shol or Maraduena will be very happy in signing that. Yes, he will. He will be very thrilled. I will walk up to him and he'll go, Hello! <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what you're saying. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> he, why is he going to stand there shouting out his own name? No, hello. Hello, it's hello. No, it's hola. Hola! <laughs> is it? Yes. Fuck, I've said hello. Is it really hola? Hola. Oh, shit, see, this is where it's all <laughs> It's a bit unmental. <laughs> Is it? Hola. 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 This has got the same ring. Hello. Hola, Sholo. Hola, Sholo. He's going to think I'm mental. Get this man out. <laughs> Security. <laughs> That's what you'll say. Maritueno, como estas, hombre? That's all I know. <laughs> That's all I know. I don't even think I got that right. <laughs> Anyway, um, I can't wait to maybe meet him or he not. can't wait either. Uh, who knows? But I'm going to take it with me just in case. Um, if I do get to... If, oh, I'll be well pleased, actually. That is a fantastic... I might even pre-book this now, thinking about it. Oh, I love a think. Stay tuned on this channel, though, because it is literally this Friday... Jam-packed. This Friday, the Liverpool Comic Con. I can't wait... Are you going to go live at all? To go? No, good. I'm not going to yes, go live. Yeah, you should go live a bit, because I'd like to see some. I could just do, like, a walkabout bit, couldn't I, well, suppose? Well, yeah, that's I? generally what... Well, that's what it is, usually. Oh, I think it's like live from the hotel. Oh, well, that's a that's for a different channel, isn't it? <laughs> it's for <open> fans. <laughs> Um, Don't that's talk it. about that one. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Let me know. That is brilliant. Really, really, really pleased with that. Can't wait to meet Sholo, man. Sholo. And um, that's it. Fantastic. See you at Liverpool Comic Con. TTFN.